This video is on data protection. Data needs to be protected and requires security processes to protect it from illegal access and data corruption. There are eight terms within data protection you need to understand for the Security Plus 601 exam. First, we have data loss prevention. Organizations use DLP, data loss prevention, to protect and secure their data and comply with regulations. There are a lot of data loss prevention hardware and software solutions that does this. It can automatically detect potential data breaches or data transmissions and prevents them while in use, in motion, and at rest. Organizations should have DLP program on the computer that monitors the data to ensure it prevents unauthorized access. For example, using DLP devices to monitor any confidential information like credit card numbers, which should not be in clear text across network connection. Then we have the term masking and encryption. Both are used to protect data, making it unreadable. Data masking secures data by removing either a part of the sensitive data and replacing it with a mask with a similar structure but different value. While encryption, on the other hand, uses complex algorithms to change the sensitive data until it is readable by using a key. Masking data and encryption safeguards confidential information such as credit card numbers, social security numbers, names, addresses, and phone numbers from unintended exposure, reducing the risk of data breaches. Then we have tokenization. It works in a different way, but the goal is to protect information such as credit card number is replaced by a substitute value, which is known as the token. Basically, your sensitive data, which is a credit card number, is being replaced by non-sensitive data like token. Tokenization system links the original data to a token, but does not provide any way to decipher the token and reveal the original data. Basically, the tokenization process removes any connection between the transaction and the sensitive data, which limits the exposure to breaches, making it useful in credit card processing. Next, we have data at rest, in transit, and in processing. Data at rest is information that is not actively traveling from one device to another. It's information basically saved on your hard drive, laptop, flash drive, or archive store in any other fashion. Think of it as putting money in a shoebox and hiding it to ensure it doesn't get stolen. The goal of data security at rest is to protect idle data or any device or network. Then we have data in motion or in transit. Basically any data traveling from one area to another, such as internet or private network. Example of this is when you upload image of your driver's license from your local storage device to a cloud storage device. Then we have processing data. Data and process is any data that is being processed by a certain information system like your credit card being utilized and your balance being updated. And lastly, we have the rights management. Rights management assists in the protection of sensitive information or data by maintaining and enforcing access and usage rights to information throughout its life cycle, regardless of where it is distributed.